How you doing, guys? Good. Great. Clap on, clap off. With success and with a new um, dawning of uh, atmosphere to cover, there's new assholes to deal with, there's new people just to... There's a whole new brand of folk, new genre of jack-off that will... Uh, try and step on you and try and slight you because now that it's, it's gold you know we've heard everything from oh well it should have went gold a long time ago and it's like man give me a fucking break you know what i'm saying relax you know just because we sell more records than you and Pantera, they're not original they sound like this band and this band and this band so that's the new brand of crap we've been faced with but you know what that's just a mere 10 percent of all of the rest that we see every night from the fans and the people who come out to the shows and support us because that makes 200 percent over our heads you know what i'm saying it rises us to a new level every night so it's all worth it <clears throat> well it sounds like you still have plenty of material to write about and i was going to ask you if you think the that new material, <laughs> the new material what, what? oh we made a joke the other day so i just bought, <laughs> I, I just bought a house you did it's uh, great and uh I bought a house and, uh, you know, it's like an old, old, big ass New Orleans house and I had to fix it up and stuff. And uh, I was talking to my people were asking me, well, what's been on your mind lately, Phil? You know, what can you write about? And I was going, well, man, I think I'm going to write about home improvement on the new one. <laughs> and, uh, I have to fix the plumbing. I want to mow the lawn. Put in a pool next month. <laughs> you know, home improvement. That's what the new record's about. I think that... You can still be a real hard, angry band in light of commercial success. I think it all has to deal with putting things into perspective. You can write an aggressive song about, you know, like I said before, you know, like flowers or, you know, or fixing the pipes, fixing the pipes in my <laughs> house. You know, I, you know, you can write aggressive music no matter what. But I think I know as a lyricist what the kids are going to want to hear on this new record. And um, it's going to be abrasive. How? important is it to be aggressive specifically you'll see it tonight you know it's, it's all part of the live performance and i don't think we can really write a song that doesn't sound aggressive you know we we can take a song and have um dynamics Dynamic. you know and, and you know put mellow parts into it and stuff but it always in the end comes out uh ferocious do you think that's negative at all especially for the kids no no way man because no i think a negative thing to do would be to put out a record that the kids would not be able to identify you with you know things are going to extremes you know it's lately you know like skid row's last record was a definitely heavier than their first record death metal's coming to a more extreme thing Every, everything's getting more extreme even what's uh, commercially acceptable today you know even a band like nirvana i'm just saying in general man that music itself is moving towards a more aggressive thing and it's up to us because we feel like we're not really categorized, we're definitely not death metal, we're not just a basic thrash band. Stop, go, stop. We have parts, we write songs. And um, I think lyrically, we're way more in touch than the average band. So uh, it's up to us to not only put out a great record, but, to do, but to do one that's um, will still be cool 10 years from now, hopefully. You know, you can even look at Pantera with the, what was that record called? Where they all had hairspray and this and that, you know? They're nice guys, but you know, some people do anything to sell records. Near from Suicidal Tendencies uh, said that he thought you guys were nice guys, but that he felt you were still capitalizing on something that started a long time ago. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. He tried to capitalize on something and didn't do too well either. So we're doing pretty well. He says that he and ST are more of the originators. That's fine, you know. Uh, there's an originator to everything, though. There's an originator to everything. And what would, I mean, what's life? Would you, were you the first one to wear this jacket? You know what I'm saying? Am I the first bald guy out there? Is he the first one to play a lead? You know, I mean, I think that's just a silly statement. I think that's just sour grapes, you know. I think we're having success. We didn't have to change anything to do that, you know? We just wrote songs and wrote songs and wrote songs. People can dig up our past. People can dig up our in-between careers, and it doesn't make a difference. We never consciously set out to be the heaviest band in, in the world that's commercially acceptable. We just wrote songs, and we played our show live like we do every night, and it's paid off for us. Two years from now, we can be 
has-beens in the gutter trying to grow our hair out, putting on leather pants, trying to play rock and roll for the kids, you know, and you know, it doesn't make a difference. We're talking now, present tense, works and lasts.